this is Amy with Well Mommy Scrapping and I am here with my March 2019 layout share. I know this is a little bit late. Things have been a little crazy with school and the musical almost done though. Three more rehearsals, three more shows, and then we're done. Right now we're on spring break so I thought I would take this time to catch up on some of my videos. Um, this first layout I used a lot of Whimsical from Paige Evans. And I did this on one of my Facebook Lives every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time in my group, One Mommy Scrapping on Facebook. I do a live, um, a live uh, Happy Scrappy Sunday is what I call it. I won't be doing one this coming up Sunday because it is Easter, but I will be resuming after that. So this is me as a little kid. Look at me. I'm adorable, aren't I? I was about two years old and I scrapbooked about my little plastic dog, Digger. And then this was with the close, a close to my heart collection. It was their February exclusive collection, and I can't recall what it's called off the top of my head. But I was able to use some of my felt bows from Bella Boulevard, and I had these this really old pack of um, paper heart embellishments from Jolie's studio, Jolie's Boutique, he is, and then these are for making memories, of course, that's really old, this is actually a clothing tag right there, I just liked color-wise how that worked, but this is my husband and I in Mexico together, this was before my daughter was born, this is before I was even pregnant with her, so love that, and of course we have, we have to have a Disney page, and here is a two-page Disney layout, this is one of my last layouts for this might be the last layout oh no I think I've got one more in there yep this is the next to last layout for our birthday trip for Elizabeth um to Ohana and this was on two different days of um we went twice for breakfast there because she liked it so much she wanted to actually go back on her birthday and I've had this one this little wood veneer that says photobomb for I don't know how long and I felt like I used it because my daughter is photobombing my husband and Mickey Mouse. I'm like, really? Really them? <laughs> I want to use a lot of postcard perfect, I think, from close to my heart. And this is one where this floral paper here, and you see it here, is what I've tried to use with each of the layouts um, from that particular restaurant, including this one, which is the last... Um, layout and I've got that floral in right up here and right here. So this is waffle time. My daughter loves waffles She loved the Mickey waffles, but the stitch waffles were her absolute favorite so She I just had to take a picture of them because she adored those Okay, and then in February of this year I had Miranda Weber and Dolly, who is scrapping on the go, I believe. They are both over to my house um, to have a little scrapbook fun together. And this is an Echo Park collection, I believe. And I just love this. I thought this was a perfect title. I like to party. And by party, I mean stay home in my PJs and do crafts, which is totally what I like to do. But I was able to mix in some older, like these puffy stickers here are older embellishments. So are the plus signs and some flair and the enamel shapes and these stickers are Vicky Booten stickers that I picked up at um, Tuesday morning and hadn't broken into yet so I was able to get a lot of my older stuff to mix in with this paper this was another happy scrappy Sunday live of my daughter when she was about six months old and I used some of the stay colorful collection by dear Lizzie and I mixed in um, a lot of stuff from my freckled fawn embellishment kits I've got so much freckled fawn. I think this was Stay Colorful. Yes. And then I had some flowers that also went well with it. And I believe those are Paige Evans flowers, although I don't know what, what collection. And then, oh, this was my How to Kill a Kit with Style Kit. That's what this one was from. And um, this Hello There I've had forever. And I'm just finally glad I got it on paper. Uh, another layout of my daughter at one year old. And this is using some of my beloved basic gray. I used the porcelain collection and sprinkled some, um, a Daniel sprinkle of three different colors of shimmers. If you don't have any of the shimmers products, I highly recommend them. And then I used my Jewel Drops by Nuvo in there. <laughs> Here she is also at one year. This is the same photo shoot. 
Um, we had it, were able to bring a couple different outfits and I used Sweet Threads by Basic Gray and this um, ribbon here is from their Oh Baby Girl collection which was the very first collection pack that I ever fell in love with way back when and could not imagine paying $15 for a pack of paper and now I'm like Psh, $15 it's nothing. Um, but again I was able to use a lot of my older embellishments. Um, these are Making Memories butterfly rhinestone sticker things with those that I've had for forever these I don't even remember what those are from but these are things that have been on my embellishment um, spinner for so long I can't even remember how long and so I'm like I love how I was able to incorporate them here oh my sweet little girl look at her I think this was a happy scrappy Sunday live video pretty sure because this is peanut butter and jelly and this one it's um this is a Heidi swap wood veneer and I used some of the glimmer no didn't use glimmer paste I used the bow bunny stuff what is that I used this their glitter paste in lemonade and I covered that it is not I had a lot of trouble I will be completely honest um it is not a consistent coat there's some parts that look almost bare and some that are very thick but it has a nice little glimmer and shine to it. And I think the cork looked really nice with this too. And I was able to include a random bicycle because I'm trying to um, branch out. My daughter's nine months old. I loved this dress. I remember it so clearly. And my sweet little puppy. Look at him. Lazy days. This, I think, was a How to Kill a Kit with Style video. And again, I'm able to incorporate a lot of the... Um, freckled fawn embellishments, these epoxy arrows, these doilies here, um, these stars are from them. Uh, so I I like it. And I love this um, copper wood grain tape because it has all the little hearts and the little knot holes. <laughs> I love this page. Oh my goodness. I just love this page. I can't remember which one this was for. I don't know if this was Happy Scrappy Sunday or not. Um, but this is me just being silly with Facebook filters. I think, where am I? I can't even tell where I am. I want to say I'm at school. I'm either at school or here at home. I'm trying to look at the reflection in the glasses. I'm probably at school though. But I got to use some Chamel um, True Stories, which is her, was her second collection. And I fussy cup the fussy cup fussy cut these coffee cups. I can talk, and it was just a fun little thing to come together. I love how well she always has papers that incorporate all of the colors. So you can use the pink, you can use the blues and teals and reds, and then you have this one paper that just ties everything together. I love that. Oh, look at my girl, her very first Easter. Oh, it's hard to believe her 11th Easter is coming up on Sunday. Um, this was, I don't, this was um, Basic Gray, and I can't remember the name of the collection off the top of my head. Tea Party, maybe? No, I don't know. But again, used a lot of um, freckled fawn embellishments. I used some of the, uh, some Dear Lizzie stuff in here. Here's some Echo Park. I don't remember that which collection. This was one of their older ones. Um, I was following a sketch with had a bunch of circles on it, and I just I really liked the energy of the circles. And uh, she and Tucker just get along so very well. I included some of my Nouveau jewel drops, and I really like the jewel drops because they pick up the colors behind them, so it's got that transparency to them. And here is another How to Kill a Kit with Style vid or a video. This is not a video. This is a, um, a layout. I'm making a video. I can do this. Of Tucker. And look, this is my new letter board, which is still sitting on the floor right behind me. It's going to go on my door. But I really I found it that Tuesday morning with Dolly and Miranda from one of the from that weekend in February that you saw the layout picture from. But again, there's lots of Stay Colorful. There is... Ooh, Stargazer. I think that's from, that might be from Stargazer. I don't know. This is, this one right here is, um, Hello by Doodlebug from their 6x6 pad. Again, lots of just random embellishments. I use my star punch a lot on this. 
I have stuff from Freckled Fawn. I have this, all these yellow enamel shapes are from Whimsical by Dear Lizzie. Just my little sleepy puppy who is currently laying on his bed in a very similar position to that right now. <laughs> and my final collection, this was a Happy Scrappy Live, Happy Scrappy Sunday Live. Um, and this is the first layout I did with Shamil's new Sparkle City collection. And oh my goodness, I am in love. I saw this paper and I just knew it would be perfect for this photo from Hollywood Studios. Um, my daughter, or we did the photo package. If you are a scrapbooker and you go to Disney, you need to get that photo package because it's like $200, but you get all the photos that they take. You get digital copies of them. So you can go and print off whichever ones you want. And they do these little magic photos where they have you pose and then they add something into the photo like that. So we've got Tinkerbell and some, there are the balloons, we've got different sorts of things. Jack Jackson one. Um, but this balloon paper, I didn't think I would use this balloon paper. I honestly thought I would use this confetti paper on the back. And then the lenticular stickers, if you look, at, there we go, you see the car drive across the page. And I'm like, ah, I wasn't sure how to use these. And this one just fit right in. There's the puffy stickers, which I wasn't sure if I'd be able to work, but these are actually embossed. I have a review video for both the paper and all of the embellishments for Sparkle City on my channel. And then she has this um, airplane and it says, see the world in holographic. Y'all, holographic, that is my jam right there. I love hollow stuff. Um, but the plane reminds me of my dad. My dad flies. Um, and I just like putting that little touch in there, see the world, because that's, for her, this is the farthest um, she's been from home, to be honest, was when we went to Disney. And so it was an exciting thing for her. I also incorporated some... Um, the dark blue with the rose gold on it is from, oh, what was the one that came right before Sparkle City? Oh, Head in the Clouds. I'm like, how did I blank on that? In fact, this is from Head in the Clouds, these pink dots. This stripe is Head in the Clouds. So those two collections do mix beautifully together. These large um, sequins are from a sequin pack that Spiegel Mom Scraps did. And, oh, I put the Dragon Tales Dream Drops on here. So there's a little bit of the iridescence in these which you really can't see on camera but in person it's quite lovely and I included the pigeons that Chamel absolutely loves and adores on here and she is absolutely right they are so stinking cute so these were my um these are my layouts for the month of March. I've already done some for the month of Febru or February I'm going back in time for the month of April and um, I'm planning on doing a lot more over the next week and a half now that I am off school for spring break. I am very excited about that. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite layout that um, I did in the month of March? And I am, as I said before, I have these Happy Scrappy Sunday Live videos on Facebook at Sundays at 3 o'clock. And I am thinking about adding in some type of YouTube live videos. So if you'd like to put in the comments, what is a good day for you to do Facebook or YouTube live and what time? Keeping in mind that right now I'm a teacher, so I'm kind of, you know, limited during the whole during the day type stuff. Um, evenings work quite well for me, um, especially once the show is over. Like I said, one more week of rehearsal and shows. So we get we go back April 29th. And we will have the 29th, 30th, and May 1st of five to eight rehearsals. And then school school show on Thursday at one o'clock. And then in the evening on the second at seven o'clock. And at seven o'clock on Friday the third. And then I'm done and I will be finished for National Scrapbooking Day or weekend or whatever we're calling it now. Or international, whatever we want to call it. Um, I normally sleep all day that day, so because it's after the show and I'm exhausted. I'm the stage manager, uh, so it's a busy, busy time. But I will see if I can do something on that day, <laughs> at least get into my scrapbook room. Leave me a comment down below. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. And if you enjoyed this video, like it, comment, and I hope you guys all have an absolutely lovely day. Bye.